Hey guys and welcome to the Blue Bridge. So Chelsea through to the semi-final, but boy did we make hard work of it. Welcome to the match review of Chelsea 1, Newcastle United 1, but Chelsea win four goals to two, was it, on penalties? <laughs> So, a game of, I wouldn't say what a game of football, it was a decent game of football, but with a couple of minutes to go, I was starting to think, here we go again. This was a typical Chelsea performance. And what I mean by typical Chelsea performance, um, we give away a soft goal near the beginning of the game. Um, and it was Baddy Shield, he was at fault. And Levi Colwell, bad back pass from him. Um, and... Uh, Callum Wilson had a lot of space to run into. He uh, took advantage of the lack of pace for, for Thiago Silva. Badia Shield came across, but he got the ball tangled up in his, in his feet. And then Callum Wilson with a decent finish. And that's what Chelsea do all the time. We and Let's start from the beginning, actually, because we had a shot, great shot by Conor Gallagher, where it hits the crossbar. Um, and against the run of play, Newcastle score and they didn't have to work for their goal. And that's what's happened. We've seen it against Nottingham Forest. We've seen it against Everton, where we just gift easy goals to the opponents. And it looked like a deja vu match again. So what Newcastle did after that was just played on a low block and Chelsea were just passing it, for, you know, winning the possession uh, possession stats uh, doing things but as soon as we get to the final third run out of ideas and that's always the, the case now we got our goal it was a fortuitous like they made a mistake so it was one mistake each um, a cross by Augusta who was playing in the right position I'm coming to that later and then it was um, a bad poor header back by Trippier and we equalise. Um, so Modric, please for him. Hopefully this will do his confidence. A world of good. Decent finish as well by, by Modric. 92nd minute of the game. And we're back in it. And what I liked about Modric as well now is when the, the, the Grimeris, I like him as a player, but nasty little player, barged into um, Matson. Modric was there backing up his teammate. That's what I like to see. That sort of fight that I like to see in our players. So anyway, game goes to penalties and Chelsea, great penalties by Chelsea. And all, all four penalties, uh, uh, four we took, who was the first one? Palmer was the first one. The second one was, um, who took our second? Uh, Gallagher, yes, Gallagher took one. Then we had one by Nkuku and uh, was it three or four? Four. I think it was four. Who took the fourth? I can't, I can't remember who took our fourth penalty there. But they, they missed. Tipia missed. And great save by our goalkeeper from Richie. And this goalkeeper, you know, when it comes to a penalty shootout, we need to be um, sec was secure because I think he saved six out of 13 when he was in the MLS or something. Great reputation for saving penalties. And today we saw why. Brilliant flying save. Still trying to work out into that other penalty. It just happened a minute ago. So... Um, who was it? I can't remember. Um, anyway, um, so, but what I want to talk about, what I want to talk about is Pochettino. He's not making it easy for himself. Okay, he got away with this one and we're into the semi-final, but boy, was he, did, did he make hard work of it. He was the reason why um, we were struggling, you know. First of all, we've got two natural fullbacks on the bench, what does he do? He plays four across the back line again. So Newcastle was easy for Newcastle because when they they're playing compact, so we had nothing, nothing down the wings. When you play, when teams are playing low blocks, you are asking for your fullbacks to come in and do that overlapping runs, make the crosses into the box. But he just we just because they are not natural fullbacks, made it easy for them. And to make matters worse, uh, Levi Colwell goes off with an injury, and he brings on. Instead of bringing on Matson, who's a natural left back, what does he do? He brings on um, he brings on um, Gusto, and Gusto's playing as a left back. So what does that do? It 
condenses the field even more. It doesn't give us the width. The, we, everything squeezed into the middle because uh, it's the, it's the, Augusto's first instinct when he gets the ball is to cut inside or move in field. And New, Newcastle already had loads of bodies in the middle of the park. And so we didn't have that natural width. And so I just don't understand what he was thinking and what he was playing at. And um, Broha came, he played, uh, he played, he put a Jackson left. Left back, left wing, sorry, and it, it was just not, not nothing was happening for us. I think we had one shot by Sterling, which was decent save. And talking about Sterling, don't, don't get me started on Sterling. You know, I thought it was going to, the game over. You know, I thought we we're never going to get back into the game with Sterling. Oh yeah, Mudrich, Mudrich was the one who took the other penalty. I could have to get that. Yeah, it's goal and penalty in the shootout. Yeah, so. Um, He's, he's through two on one and then what happens he's got a simple pass into the path of Nkuku who could have made a dream debut with a goal but what does he do he messes it up by overhitting the pass and that's our problem as well I was watching this video by um, a, a, a tactical and an analyst and 442, I think it is. You can go and, and look it up. He's talking about um, Chelsea's metrics. And what is, is so true in the, you know, we are in the top two or three when it comes to possession and uh, possession in our own half and possession in the second third. But when we get to the business end, the final third, that's when we are, well, I think we are down at 13th or 14th. And that's why we don't score enough goals. We don't find enough solutions where it matters. I'll, you know, Balls, the, the final pass, you know, the key pass, we're missing on that. No, not a lot of bodies in the box. Even if you look at um, when we were desperately looking for a goal, I think there was one time Gusto fizzes the ball across, and nobody's making an effort to get into the box, and that's our problem. You know, nobody you can finish, or nobody you can put thread through that final ball, and that's why we are where we are in the league, um, 12th or 13th, and that's because we cannot um, make those vital decisions in in the in the last third so it's, it's 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 all well and good looking pretty up to that point that's where you score your goals that's where that's where you need to be effective not knocking a ball around with no real substance but as i said today we got lucky with the with the trip year one and we we, we managed to, to to scrape through into the semi-final so i'm hoping now that this gives the boys a lot of confidence this this win because you can see out what it meant to the players it's still a young side and we've got a real real chance of, of, of winning this tournament um we've got a two-legged semi-final the, the draw's gonna be made tomorrow um and we've got middlesbrough i think in the semi-finals fuller minor semi-finals if we can avoid liverpool or west ham in the next round, then you never know what can happen in in the um, if we can get through to the final. It'd be nice to have a match against Middlesbrough or somebody, you know, just to try and get these guys into the final. Because if these guys can actually win the tournament, it will give them a major boost going forward. It gives them that winning feeling, what it feels like to be winners. And I always remember when Jose Mourinho, when he was at Chelsea, we his first. Um, season he came we won the league cup and what he said it, it creates that winning mentality within the players so i know you know, this is can be seen as the, probably the third best domestic trophy it, to go for but for us the position we are beggars can't be choosers so we get this trophy and it gives us an avenue into Europe as well. So we're into Europe. There's no pressure of us getting into Europe. We'll be in the Europa League for next season. And hopefully that could kickstart our season. Yeah, so hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we can we can get there, guys. And, and you know, see, what, see what we can do um, towards now and the end of the season. So what do you guys think of the match overall? Stick your comments in the section below. And don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Share the content and I'll see you guys on the next one. So take care. Bye-bye.